guys, so today we are going to be reacting to the true story of Jess Shop and a cartoon animation. Okay, guys, so uh, let, let's let's hop into this one. By the way, guys, you like my cool uh, new lights right here? I'm going to change the colour each video. Uh, some videos I'm going to do um, my green screen. Some videos I will have my lights, so uh, they look pretty cool. And uh, let's get in, guys. All right. Here we go. Alright. Oh, there's figure. Oh, he escaped. I'm free. Okay. Oh no. Figure's right there. <laughs> Door 52. There's no end to this place. It's just monster after monster after monster. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah. Oh no, that's El Goblino! Me, all sorts of weird stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, El Goblino! My my pal, my pal, El Goblino. Oh, you freaks. My oh, pal. Come on. Don't be rude. He's just trying to be an honest businessman. Wait, Jeff Shaw. Aren't trying to kill me? The three of us? No way, amigo. <laughs> Bobby, you're as friendly with everyone. He even tried to make friends with that Timothy guy. But yeah. I'm like, he's a bug, man. <laughs> Oi, relax, buddy. You know I'm only giving you a hard time because <laughs> you're my best friend. Hey, what's going on with the lights? Oh, no, the lights are going out, guys. Hi, hombre. Oh, it's no. Rush. It's Rush. I didn't know there are closets at door 52. Guys, put in the comments if there are actually closets at door 52. I don't actually know, guys. You All right. Dude? We here don't go. get many visitors here. I thought you'd be a goner for sure. I think I'm okay. There we go. Oh, Jeff made it too. There's Bobby. Jeff. Where's Bob? Oh no, Bob! Talk to me, hombre! No! Bob! What's the big deal? How did Bob even one? die? What I wonder if it'll me? show how Bob dies. Oh no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, you're about to be hombre, cause Bob over here was the best person in this world. I wonder if he'll show how Bob died. Seen. Oh no, he's in trouble. He's the one who saved me and Jeff, and oh, showed no, us we trouble. didn't have to be evil like all the other monsters. In A minute this place. ago, he said they won't kill him. Jeff's been here so long, he's completely forgotten who he was before. Wait, is that Jeff? His memories start with flashes from his transformation and the excruciating pain he felt. Wait, throughout. what? To this day. He's never let us see his full form in the light. Apparently, Wait, what? Wait, is that Jeff? This new body made Jeff confused, angry. He felt the hot rage flowing through him. It forced him to lash out. He'd attack anyone that crossed his path. He wanted to make. I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know. I, I'm. Just, I'm just not going to trespass with open, him. You know. Yeah. I, I, I'm just going to so stay away from the trespasser. To from. I didn't it trespass, no okay, Bob. Uh, uh, no but Jeff. Jeff. That's your name, isn't it? Jeff. Feel the sadness yeah. inside. He was lonely. There's Jeff. Me. I remember everything. I well, that's El Goblino. <laughs> Look, he's got he's got his little earring. He's got his little earring. I'd steal cash from the register. Hundreds of dollars. Oh no, it's El Goblino, naughty El Goblino. I'd even break into the guest rooms and confiscate all their valuables. Oh no! To make a buck. No! Was the oh, please don't steal the me. But eventually, I was caught by your hotel. Caviar. <laughs> I thought it was he just threw me over to the police. Caviar. But a cheap, spiteful man as powerful as Mr. Pennybags. And Mr. Much Pennybags. <laughs> in mind. He performed an evil ritual. Oh, the crucifix. When it shows, guys, when it actually shows the shape, it shows that on figure. It doesn't actually mean they disappear. If it's blue, when the entity rises up, that means that the entity is gone. Whereas if it's red, they, it only holds them for a bit. They can beat it out. The other entities in this hotel. He placed a X on me. A curse if you didn't know, guys. If you didn't know, okay. <laughs> I was no longer. Wait, that's how El Goblino turned into this monster. The oh. transformation only made my greed oh. worse. That's how he turned into a monster. It consumed oh. me. And now that I was a monster, I didn't exactly have to be sneaky about it. I could just take whatever trinkets I desired by force. Yet I, I didn't feel the scary. same rush I did as a man. No matter what I stole, no matter how much wealth I hoarded. So this is this is El Goblino's story. Then this is kind of El Goblino's story at the start. 
Okay. That's where Bob I've got comes it. in. He worked at the hotel's gift shop. Wait, Wait this is Bob. Wait, this is Bob, guys. We're stocking okay. the shelves and attending to all the guest needs. Wait, who's this? I know his name was Bob because that's what his hat said. Oh, his hat. He wore that ugly thing every day. He wasn't like us. Who's this? He was kind. Who was he this? at his job. The guests loved him so Wait, much, what? his deep jar would end up over. Oh, that's how he got money. tips. He was foolish to leave it out so proudly. Boy, <laughs> he was right there for the taking. This would be my biggest haul yet. Surely that would be enough to quench the greed inside me. Oh. Now was my time to strike. Al Goblino's gonna steal it. I finally earned enough to afford that ring I've been eyeing for so long. Then I can propose to my dear sweet Darlene, the love of my life. Darlene. Blood, sweat, and tears will be worth it once she agrees to marry me. This is Darlene. What in the world? Oh no, that's Jeff. Ah! <laughs> well, that's Jeff. Well, that's hey, Jeff. El Goblino. Like the video, guys, if you like El Goblino. The two of us went at each other like savages. This wasn't my first time oh. seeing Jeff. Most monsters in the hotel knew about each other's existence. Wait, so is El Goblino doing that so he can get the money himself, not Jeff? Jeff's rage had gone too strong. You weren't going to quit until one of us were dead. Unfortunately, looked like that was going to be me. Jeff had been converted much more than me. So naturally, he was more powerful. I didn't stand a chance. But just when it seemed like it was all over... Oh no! Wait, Bob put himself out! In for the Jeff. His life to save me. me what? A total stranger and a monster at that. Oi, what'd you do that for, hombre? You got some kind of death wish or something? I just what? couldn't stand there and watch you die. I had to help. But I'm a monster. Evil what about Darlene? Or... No one is. What about Darlene? <laughs> <good inside everybody. laughs> he just, just left Darlene. Darlene. Uh, what about Darlene? That's right. What about Take Darlene? The money. If that is what you two are fighting over. What about I've been Darlene? For quite some time, but it's not worth anybody dying over. Jeff and I couldn't believe it. No one has showed us even an ounce of kindness since well, we he's got puppy this. eyes. Jeff's got puppy eyes. Things we had done in our past. What about Darlene? <laughs> Darlene. Just promise me one thing: that you'll take care of my sweet Darlene. There you go, Darlene. She's everything to me. We we promise. <sighs> Wait, no! Oh, and that's how like Bob her. became we Bob like with that hat on. Past. Oh, and right. Uh, Jeff and I vowed to do. Guys, this is only like a. This is like the true story of it. So, like, it's not true. a theory or anything. Unfortunately, I don't think. Anyway. Employer, Mr. Bennybag, showed up with other plans. Mr. Bennybag. This stupid crucifix to control <laughs> us, like he always has. He <laughs> took all the money for himself. Later, I found out he had oh, already no. visited my horde and taken that too. Oh no. Nothing was going to stop us from oh, no. keeping our promise. We were going to get Darlene her money some way or another. Wait, so that's why Jeff Shop is there? Because they wanted to give Darlene her money because of what Bob did and asked them to give Darlene ask and he asked them to give Darlene the money. Oh right, okay. We didn't want to steal anymore. This is more we confusing were going to than do I this thought. The honest way, like Bob would. So we set up a little shop. <laughs> It was a tough business. All the hotel guests ran at the very sight of us. Nobody bought anything or left any tips. Oh no. Personally, I think we're long overdue for a rebrand. I wanted to name it El Goblino's Gallery of Fine Antiquities for quite some time. But I <laughs> keep getting outvoted. Outvoted? By who? Jeff and Bob, of course. But I thought oh. Bob died all those years ago. Well, yeah, he yeah. did. But this hotel is strange, dude. After a while, I swear Bob started Lord. to talk and move around again. But Lord. I could hear his voice. He'd shift around the room when oh. I wasn't looking. He's definitely not That's the a same bit creepy. He can hear his voice. Hey, yo, boy. Bob. Bob. It's Bob. Oh, it's a miracle. <laughs> Oi, don't ever scare me like that again, hombre. <laughs> well, of course I was worried. We thought you were a goner. What? <laughs> He tipped Jeff. He's tipped Jeff. There we go, guys. If you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like and subscribe, and as soon, I'm, I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing, like, a fan art contest, so, like, all of you guys can send me in your fan art. Oh, I'll have, like, a wall for it. 
And then uh, I'll do a competition, best winner gets some Robux. But I'll put a YouTube short when that's coming out soon, guys. Um, anyway, have a good day, guys. Goodbye.